The island of Antigua has 365 beaches, one for each day of the year. Watch out for those birds. Adam Anton is a kite surfing instructor on Jabberwock Beach in the north of the island. He has worked here for 20 years. I pretty much grew up on this beach. We've seen a lot of changes in the beach. You know, we've seen erosion from storms. Also, we've had a lot of sand being taken from the beach. Worldwide, 50 billion tons of sand are mined each year as supply to the construction industry. It is the second most exploited resource in the world after water. In Antigua, sand is procured as though it is an unlimited resource. For their smaller projects, Antiguans dig directly on the beaches. Yeah, it's small scale, but it's consistent. You know, it's every single day. People come and they just take one or two buckets and it slowly just, you know, it's eroding all these paths. It's a common belief here that it's okay to take sand from the beach. Beaches are the first line of defense against coastline erosion, rising waters and cyclones, which are becoming increasingly violent. Since the 1970s, Sand mining has been illegal. Good afternoon, fellas. How are you doing? Every day, a government beach patrol monitors Antiguan beaches. That smart area, so they come with like their shovel and their bucket. And over here, you have a much bigger area. But on this island, this 30-person team can monitor only a dozen sites. We make sure that on a daily basis between 8 and basically 4.30, that we minimize the whole issue of sand mining. I think part of the main issue is that when we leave, most of the sand mining takes place in the evening hours, between <laughs> 6 p.m. and 6 a.m. Activists like Ellie Fuller denounce the impunity that reigns in Antigua. This house I saw for sale, 8.5 million US dollars. The gardener was removing sand from that end of the beach to put on the walkways five days ago. I watched, I watched them do that. And this happens a lot here. I show you. The beaches of Antigua have made a fortune for the island. Nearly 30% of Antigua's GDP depends on tourism. Gervais Lee is a former international footballer. Since his retirement, he has been committed to defending the environment. The beaches pay the bill in Antigua. Without the beaches, sadly and unfortunately, Antigua will not be Antigua. Barbuda is 50 kilometers north of Antigua. It is the second largest island of this archipelago. Barbuda is at the heart of sand trafficking in the region. Here, proper mines operate on an industrial scale. Since the 1970s, Barbuda has been the sand hub of the Caribbean. In 50 years, several billion tons have been mined. John Mussington, Sangon Plantation, Barbuda. This is part of what is left now after the sand has been mined out. Um, in the distance, you can see one of the machines that they use to basically take up the sand. If you look at the roots of those coconut trees, that would represent what the height of the sand was. John Mussington is a biologist. This activist regularly raises alerts of the ravages caused by sand mining. For the person sitting on the bulldozer, all he's seeing is bush taken out. For a person like me, I see ecosystems being lost, biodiversity being lost. Babuda is isolated. Only 1,600 people live on the island. To put an end to the environmental damage, the local government made sand mining illegal in 2006. But for Barbuda, sand is an essential source of income. The mines have never been closed. The people who make the bulk of the money out of the sand mining business, they're the persons who control the badges, they're the persons who control the market in terms of where it's sold and the price. Every day, dozens of sand trucks come and go to this crushing site. This is where the sand will be refined before being exported. This market is estimated at 30 million euros per year. We're, we're making probably less than 1%. But at the end of the day, we end up with the bulk of the environmental damage that we have to spend money to fix back. And not only in terms of money, but environmental quality, health, well-being of the people. While revenues from sand mining only benefit a small minority, it might change the landscape of Antigua and Barbuda forever. The beaches are endangered. 
if you come back in 20 years, some of these beaches will be gone. I don't have children as yet, but I mean, I would love for them to experience what I'm experiencing now. You know what I mean? And it, it's, it's absolutely depressing to even think about it. In the future, we may not even have this. In May 2022, the government of Antigua and Barbuda authorized the extraction of several billion tons of sand from open waters. This sand will be exported to build artificial beaches all over the world, at the risk of seeing the beaches of Antigua disappear.